2021 on retired here and today we will be showing you a build for conjurer so i'm calling this one the beast master build so it's mostly concentrated on the pets that you acquire from gear and or skills uh i might not necessarily um have maybe weapons or off hands or devotions that you would uh, probably want to take uh, but this is considered on my playstyle and what I currently have and I'll want to use uh, so yeah so I'll just show you stats points first I'll show you some gear so you sh I'll show you where I put my points without the gear and then how it looks like with the gear uh, devotion I'll just uh, quickly go through it and with some gameplay to show you how pets are so OP and that's what Beastmaster should be as well now when you think about beastmaster you think about oh for me i don't know why but i think about world of warcraft for some reason and uh you think about having a, a crossbow or a bow and in this case um i'll have a black scourge um, as you can see it has some plus skills good offensive health uh, most of the pets most of the gear that um all the gear that i have is plus bonus to all pets right uh that's I'll just put it out there this is what you the kind of gear that you need and there's always lots of gear that drops with you um, for your pets so it shouldn't be too hard to get um, yeah so I have this offhand and this uh, this main hand sorry and this one as a offhand um, you can always go with a, another one called empowered worm claw or there's another one it's a grimoire it's also empowered as well um, I forget the, what the name is, but I know that it summons a skeleton. Uh, I have it on one of my previous builds uh, for Conjurer uh, from uh, level 50. But anyways, uh, so I have Physique at 868, Cunning at 360, and Spirit at 571. If you wanted to go with Crossbow, uh, you would need an, at least a minimum of 4, I would say 433, I believe, or was it 450? Uh, around that number. Now, if we're talking about sk uh, skills themselves, um, so... Conjure is a occultist and shaman together, so it is a hybrid class. All right, I just went over the, that class build. If you want to go take a look at that video as well, um, max skill points into occultist and max into shaman. Now, it's good to know that m a lot of a lot of the pluses uh, for your skills come from your gear, so you don't necessarily need to be putting lots of points into everything. Uh, this is only for my personal preference. I only put one point into Doombolt so I can actually be doing something instead of just standing there waiting for my pets to kill everything. Um, definitely need max Curse of Frailty and max into Vulnerability. Uh, look at that minus Poison Acid Resistance, Vitality, Elemental. Uh, here it's also the movement speed, physical resistance, and bleeding resistance. Now since um, your Hellhound and your Briarthorn will do a lot of physical damage, uh, d you really need this, all right? Max these two out, no exception. Um, I maxed out Blood of Drig. I mean, it's good to have offensive ability, uh, that acid damage, that retalia retaliation damage, but most importantly, the 28% health restored. I uh, also did put one point into Aspect of the Guardian. Now, this is personal preference uh, as I like I like has seeing that Poison Acid Resistance go up by 10%, at least by 10%. Uh, so if you're having difficulties with uh, resistances, um, you can put one point or more into here. I prefer one point for now because I'm good at resistances. Uh, 1496 Summon Familiar. I put one point into Storm Spirit because uh, he randomly puts... Um, an Eldritch uh, Spirit buff or something like that empowers one of your um, pets or yourself um, with elemental damage, 3% elemental resistance. So I like that elemental resistance factor in into it. So one point is well deserved in my, in my humble opinion. Um, we're going with a maximum summon Hellhound. You need to have this max at 16. Uh, it does massive amounts of damage, a lot of health. I mean 27,919 health. Uh, just your pet not that's not without anything else added onto it now I uh, didn't go for the remainder because it's more it's based more on fire chaos and we're it's your pets are gonna be more physical than anything else uh, so I didn't put any any into here now personal preference again you can put one point into each and see how that works out for you but it's it, it kind of works out to the same thing eventually one point into bonds of bismuel 
and 1.2 manipulation. Now Shaman max points. Um, again, this is personal preference. I have one and two grasping vines, one and two entangling vines. I, I've kind of played around with the um, amount of points you put into Mogdragon's Pact, uh, Heart of the Wild, and Oak Skin. Uh, I did put 10 out of 10 because of the pierce resistance it does add uh, for you, which is very important because you're like a, a peanut in a, a little peanut in the shells, and as soon as you get hit, you lose like half your health already. Um, as soon as you have that on and you have points into Heart of the Wild, it adds health to your already a small health pool, uh, which is very important. So um, you can put 7 or up to 10 points. I, I would say go to 10 points, but uh, I could only allot 7 in this case. I have 11 out of 12 for Conjure Primal Spirit. I call this the free, sp uh, the free pet. Unfortunately, it's a cast pet, so it's only there half the time because of the cooldown and 1.2 primal bond and now let's go take a look at the gear so empowered lich guard uh scourge and i have the whole beast color uh beast man beast color set so i have the headpiece i have the um talisman i have beast color shroud and the beast colors shoulder pads now if we look at the set bonuses defensive ability uh that set bonus three bonus all pets is crazy good resistances health crit and the four uh, four piece set plus three to contra primal spirit plus three to bonds of bismil love it plus that skill beats your rage you can't go wrong um relic personal preference i love savage um compared to the other relics um i would just tell you to go through the relics and see what really works out for your build and because you might not have the most amazing gear whatsoever so go through the relics and see what you can get um and you can let me know what works out for you. I chose Will of Bismil. This was a very underrated amulet before. Uh, I don't know why. It's super, super good. Um, I mean, that health, that defensive ability, well, this is just um, uh, a roll on the drop, obviously. The chaos resistance, um, the plus skills, the bonus to the pets is really good. 28% health plus 6% defensive ability um, plus invocation of chaos. So it calls for three mobs. So I can just show you right away like this. It'll just show you three mobs. And they do chaos damage. Now it's, it's really nice to see them running around as well. Let me conjure everything here. Look at my, look at my health went up. Boom. Awesome. Um, I got two rings. They're two glyphs of uh, Kelfat Zot. All right. Um, so, not for the electric damage and whatnot, but it's more for the elemental resistances. Uh, the Conjure uh, Stonecrawler's Pack. Well, sorry, the Conjure Primal Spirits. So that's plus two, plus two, plus four, plus the bonus of all pets, as you can see, um, and the um, granted skills. Right. Uh, for belt, I have Void Master's Cord. Uh, pretty self-explanatory right there. I have the uh, Necromancer's Death Grips, Empowered Rift Hound Leather Boots, and the Wild Shorn Leg Guards. Excellent. So now we got our full build, and look at that. We have 11, almost 1100.5 k HP, which is a decent amount of HP. All right. Uh, let's go to our other skills. So it kind of looks like this: 18, 9, 16, 4 out of 12 here, 7, 12, 22, 12. And for Occultist, uh, we're looking at 17, 16, 20, 16. And if you put points here, you get more. 12, 12, 7 out of 12. A decent enough. Devotions. Um, I'm just going to go through this uh, real quick. just going to show you. I can always make a de uh, little devotion video, a couple minutes, uh, to explain where to put where and what to take off. So three points into the crossroads here. I have uh, Akron Scorpion. Three points into Jackal. Uh, I have the Shepherd's Crook. I put three points to hammer. I have an empty throne, uh, Bismuth's bonds, Raven, Manticore, Mogdragon's, uh, Mogdragon. Uh, my goodness, I have a hard time saying Mogdragon the Wolf. I'm never saying that word again. And uh, Leviathan. I only put a couple of points here, like this, is straight in the line. Now, um, I used to not take Leviathan, but it's. I saw it. Uh, from someone else's build uh, so I dropped a bunch of points uh, that was more of a defensive let's say like an Wolverine or something and I put it into here and that's pretty much it I'll go more in detail um, in a separate video if you will 
Um, now, if we're looking at resistances, I'm at 80%, 50%, but if I put my blood streak, 60%, decent enough, I would have to say um, the only one that's kind of down is your Aether resistance. Whoops, my pets are attacking for some reason. Uh, so let's just go on ahead and attack here. I'll just show you what it is. So, you can do your Doom Bolt. Usually you just, um, you do your Crystal Frailty, then your uh, Grasping Vines. Check it out, I'll show you. You send your pants in, like that, like that. You can call your other pets if you want. You can go around. As you can see, it, it is really good. Um, the only thing I don't like is that um, it does take quite a bit of spirit for some reason. There you go. All this. These are pretty good. The pets and everything. You can just lay back and not even worry about it. Look at that. I didn't even know that was there. I just can't just <laughs> I can just continue on. Now, I really suggest for these kind of builds to play around with the skills and devotions because um, not all the skills, not everyone likes those the devotions that I would have taken. Uh, the skills um, or the skill allocation in the build in itself. Um, I'm more of an attacker usually, but I switch from crossbow to the... Um, uh, to what you see here, the Black Scourge and Empowered Lich card. I felt as if the, um, a bit more defensive ability, because um, I didn't want to get hit as much. Just like that here. Yeah. There you go, just like that. Okay. And my pet command is on my le uh, left click, so I don't have to really worry of where my if I'm getting attacked by something, I can move out it right. I can uh, move into it right away. My pets, I mean, so just like this here. And I kind of get carried away sometimes just by just staying there. You can run around, you know, have some fun, watching everything getting destroyed for you. Um, yeah, just like that. Look at that. It's a pretty easy build, guys. I mean, you can do this with crap gear, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it doesn't require that much farming. Um, as like I said, you'll be able to get a lot of the gear very, very easily because it drops very often in itself. Just go around like this. You just be careful, obviously. I can see everything is proccing and whatnot. So yeah, easy, pretty easy build, guys, to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, do leave a like, and if you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section. Um, that it be a suggestion and or what you would change in the build. That's uh, completely fine. I uh, can respect that. Positive criticism, guys. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.